Hello, welcome back to another uh, real screencast for BB Edit. Um, if you didn't know, I've started a Twitter account at BB Edit Hints on Twitter um, with approximately daily hints on using BB Edit. Um, and I've. Um, this screencast will often have general use um, tips about using BB Edit in addition to uh, talking about Rails development a fair bit. Um, for example, um, the first screencast and this screencast is more general hints on um, BB Edit and not so much Rails specific things. So if you're not a Rails developer, stay, stay tuned and listen to this whole thing because it, you may pick up some useful hints and tips. And follow me on Twitter. So one thing I missed about TextMate is the ability to um, move a line of text up and down, which you did in TextMate with um, Shift, or excuse me, Control, Command, up arrow and down arrow. Up arrow and down arrow. I've uh, replicated this in Kimondo, uh, um, which is how I'm able to do it in BB Edit. Kimondo is this great little Ruby-based, essentially, macro programmer. And I've uh, created the macro to make a new line, or m uh, move a line up and down, and some other things that I really like in BB Edit, like um, taking an entire line and deleting it, no matter where I am in the line text. You see, I'm right here in the middle, which is usually inconvenient because you have to go to the end of the line and then delete but I have written as a Kimondo macro I'm pressing option command delete although it could be whatever and it deletes the entire line um, a few other things like that in, are in my Kimondo file I'll post in the show notes a link to the gist where I describe uh, a number of my commands uh, for Kimondo um, Additionally, one of the things I used a fair bit in uh, TextMate was to go to the previous and next document, which was, um, which I can, which of course I can do in BB Edit by Command sh Option uh, brackets or the next and previous document commands. Um, but one thing that always annoyed me as a Rails developer was I'll have 10 files open at the same time and maybe I want to go back to the file I was at a minute ago which probably means that I've opened up three files since. And I could use next document to go backwards until I find it or I could use the little open files pop-up right here in the navigation bar um, and I can even assign a key command to it, which I've assigned uh, control option F. So now, when I don't know, when I know I have a file open, but I don't know where it is in the next and previous hierarchy, I can go control option F and type application or whatever, app, hit return, and here I am in my application controller. This is in the BB Edit Preferences, Menus and Shortcuts, Navigation Bar, the Open Files menu. Um, and here I'll use it here, go back to Posts, Controller. All right, another thing that I mentioned last time is the um, uh, Methods menu on the Navigation Bar. And I mentioned how we can assign a command key to that too, which I've sh assigned command shift T, and I can pick whatever I want. If you notice here is a marker menu. Um, TextMate had uh, where you could um, star a line uh, with F2 or command F2, and it you'd be able to go back and forth between the different important parts of the file. You can do that in BB Edit. Also, say I'm on a line and I think it's important um, because maybe I need to refer to that, right? 
set marker, um, here I am, right? And I can go down into something and look at the here I am marker. Um, so I've set this up to mimic BB audit, or TextMate commands. Uh, F2 will open that menu and where I can set the marker another place. And also just type to select the marker. Uh, command F2. I can all. I've also set up a command to uh, essentially uh, create a marker right, right here, and I've set it up to be Command F2. Um, some place in po. Uh, and create action. Okay, and hit F2. Some place in the create action. Some place in the create action. Great, and here I am. Uh, so, and uh, with these mappings, the, the marker command becomes as useful as, or as easy to use as TextMate's uh, star feature, with slightly less, uh, slightly more power um, because I can actually name these things and I don't um, have to kind of guess what I was thinking when I set up the marker. There's also BBEdit's jump points. Um, jump points. Uh, jump marks, um, which are much lighter versions of markers. Um, I tend to like markers because they're explicit, uh, and jump points I forget about, or jump marks I forget about, but to each their own. Uh, another thing I missed from TextMate is the ability to hit escape and have a completion happen. Uh, in TextMate we use the escape key a lot and almost wear it out on our keyboards. Um, and with BB Edit, it's triggered from a uh, menu bar, which you can set for for whatever. I've set my invoke completion command to control period, but we can get that behavior from BB Edit by uh, using a defaults preference. Uh, defaults right, comment bare bones. That BB Edit editor use escape key as completion trigger. Yes, we'll turn it on. And we can use the shell worksheet to confirm that it's on and off. And use the shell worksheet to confirm that it's off. Uh, and that will restore the escape as a as a trigger um, if you really miss escape. Another thing that I've done over this last week, another thing that I missed, was being able to take a line of text and send it to gist.github.com. Um, gist.github.com is a pasteboard service, which you, um, where you can send lines of code to be uh, to your friends. Uh, share over the internet or whatever. Sometimes useful to um, aid remote debugging, sometimes useful for just a place to stash stuff, sometimes useful for you know all kinds of kit, all kinds of things. Uh, I've created a service for OS 10 to post directly to GIST uh, and the link will be in the show notes but the GIST to post to guest is right here, uh, and it was actually um, way easier than I expected uh, with the guest gem. Um, I'll put the link in the show notes. And yes, thank you very much. This episode will actually have show notes based on a suggestion by a YouTube commenter. Um, so uh, all these links uh, will be in the show notes. Again, uh, follow me on Twitter at bbedithints uh, for daily um, clever little bbedit-related 
hints or things you might not know about or whatever else um, PB Edit related strikes my fancy that day. Alright, uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.